Lucas. The one and only. I heard that you guys need some assistance. How did you... Who are you? Wait, you're a Mark Prime, the Alpha Skullcrawler. I was sitting right up top of there, hoping that you guys... Because we'll never give up. Creep. You're the one to talk. So, what do you want, Lord... I mean, David... Lucas. Hmm. I wish for your help. <clears throat> you see, we've been keeping an eye on you guys for the past week. And I would say, I am actually kind of surprised that you're keeping Mr. Flowers distracted for so long so we can continue our plan. And what plan would that be? Oh, I don't know. To return David's former power? Because currently, he's small. He's kind of weak and defenseless. He's missing two heads, and he's already missing a leg. Well, not two heads. He has one missing head, and he's missing two legs. But with your help, and if you help us, in return, I will allow some flowers to live, but I will weaken him for you. And take his powers away to see how he'll like it. And you guys can have your way with him. If you agree to serve me. And it looks like he killed one of your friends. And I deeply apologize for that. Why are you interested in helping us out? I mean, we're Godzilla's. And as we know... Besides of Kansas 3 being the only good Ghidorah, and, well, his wife, Godzilla's and Ghidorah's don't get along quite well. So, why will you be interested in helping us? Because you've been tra chasing around my rival for four, for five long years, and I've been watching every second of it. And I would say, it's kind of funny. Back then, he wasn't as aggressive or violent. But now, since he has war, things have changed. He's become a different Godzilla than he was before. And with war, he could have a bloodline of his own. He could have kids. Do you really want that? No, no, no. Good. Then I suggest you serve me. If you serve me, I will give you dominion over a certain part of not only this planet, but also in the Hollow Earth as well. And not only that, you can have some flowers all to yourselves. And with his weakened state, he, will no, he won't be able to persist. He will be not as strong enough or as powerful enough as he was before. So what do you say, Monica? Would you agree to work with me? Hmm. Let us think about this. Take all the time you need. What do you think, girls? Should we accept his offer? Well, I mean... Lucas is... a Godzilla killer. But if... I'm not just a Godzilla killer, I have two Godzilla's on my side. Wait, what? You have two Godzilla's on your side? Yeah. Hornzilla... and, uh, Shin Godzilla. Who's Hornzilla? Space Godzilla Final Wars' his brother. Oh. Wait, and Shin Godzilla is not the Shin Godzilla from this universe. He's from another universe where he's actually evil. And he also happens to be Storm Ultimus' rival. Along with another Godzilla, I think. That is the Godzilla Earth in his universe. Along with the anime Mecha Godzilla. Seriously? Changing his rivals again? 
Oh, don't worry. You said these three are going to be his last and permanent rivals. Oh. Never mind, then. So, girls, what do you think? Hmm. We're not only giving... We might be only giving dominion over a certain part of this planet, but also the Hollow Earth as well. And if Lucas is successful, he can conquer this planet. No, let alone the universe. The entire universe. This universe. So that way we can do whatever we want. And if Super Wars is a strain of its power and energy, he won't be able to resist us. And we can finally have him. And Natsuki's sacrifice won't be in vain. Lord Lucas, you officially have a deal. We will work with you, as long as you keep at the end of your deal. Oh, don't worry, I'm really good at making deals. Heck, you should have seen Godzilla Earth, Anime Mecha Godzilla, and Shin Godzilla from Stormwolf Plus Universe. I made them such good deal that they cannot resist. Really? What's that? Well, they'll explain in the comments below. Oh, in this video. Wait. Speaking of Godzilla Earth, what about the Godzilla Earth in this universe? Oh yeah, I never thought about that. What about him? Oh, don't worry. Because I'm planning on consuming Super Final Fantasy's power. And a little bit of that Hollow Earth juice, I just might be powerful enough to overthrow Godzilla Earth. So I could become the god of the monsters in this universe. Would Exif Ghidorah be pleased about that? Oh, don't worry. Exif Ghidorah told the Ghidorahs to rather conquer this planet or conquer the universe. And he won't mind if I become the god of the monsters if I become powerful enough to kill God's Lord Earth. So don't worry. Over time, we will deal with God's Lord Earth. But right now, we got to deal with the other Titanoscorch here, the species. Especially their Alpha, Super Godzilla Final Wars himself. And like I said, you guys will have to follow my orders. And only then and truly then will your friends sacrifice will not be in vain. But if you fail a mission, your punishment might be fatal. And if I were you, I'll take his words seriously, because, uh, he stabbed Hornzilla in the gut, like in the stomach, and he actually severely wounded him. So if I were you, I'll take his orders very seriously. Unlike all the other villains, this villain right here doesn't play around. Good. I have we, I'm glad we have an understanding. We may still live here for now. How come? Why won't you take us to your base? Because I don't want you guys to be good. I don't want you guys to lure Super Final Wars into my base. Like what you did last time, when you had your little battle with him, or when he discovered on what you guys did. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. But I will send one of my mechs down here to heal you guys up, to possibly give you guys new upgrades. Well, mainly, you two. You, on the other hand, you, you might just unbreak your arm. Okay. Level Mark Prime, let's go. We have three new recruits now. Hey, wait for me.